This, uh, this is the Xeriscape Demonstration Garden at Farmington, uh, the Farmington Ag Science Center with New Mexico State University. And the garden is somewhat unique uh, from other Xeriscape gardens in that it's split into four different sections and then each section is irrigated uh, differently. I can show you the irrigation system. We're actually irrigating right now. We've got water coming in from a pressurized line and then a pressure reducer to reduce the pressure down. And then we have uh, other pressure reducers on here. The drip system uh, just consists of a, like I said, a valve, a main valve to turn the uh, each zone on, and then a filter. And uh, this is definitely a mandatory requirement for any drip system is having a filter because especially if you have irrigation water. This is a disc filter and that's what's filtering out our uh, any sediments that come in from the irrigation water. So you definitely have to have a filter if you're going to use a drip system and also a pressure reducer. Like I said this reduces the pressure down to 20 psi. This the pressure coming in here is about 70 probably or 80 this drops it down to 40 and then these pressure regulators drop it down to 20 before it goes out the drip lines and that that's prevention the, the emitters work well anywhere between 10 and 20 psi uh, when you get pressures higher than that you have a tendency to blow your drip system apart or you can blow the emitters out okay here's a manifold that you can use along your lateral and irrigate eight separate plants with um, it has a built-in filter, so you get a double filtration with the system. You have your filters up at, the, at, up at your valves, and then you have a built-in filter here. And then you have eight emitters that are built right into the manifold, and these are removable. And then the water will come up. Here's the water. The water will go through your lateral, come up on this riser, um, and go into the, the manifold, and then come out the emitters and through this microtube to your plant. Now we have all one gallon per hour emitters. These are color coded, these Rainbird models. These are one gallon per hour emitters. We have all the same size emitters in, in this uh, particular manifold. But the, uh, you could also take these out. Say you had a bigger plant or a larger plant, say that this tube was going to, you could uh, change that emitter out and put a, uh, a two gallon per hour or maybe a, even a four gallon per hour uh, emitter in instead of a uh, one gallon per hour. So it's a very versatile little piece of equipment, it makes life easy, especially in a Xeriscape. It may not be suitable for a garden or something like that, but for a Xeriscape, it's a, it's a uh, convenient little way to monitor the uh, water going to your, your different plants. And, um, and so we just schedule our irrigations by timing, the different irrigations. Like I said, we, have, we go for four hours, eight hours, and 12 hours uh, for the um, the low or the low medium and high irrigation levels uh, respectively and they also have plugs in case you didn't you weren't irrigating a plant out of a particular outlet here uh, you can put plugs in there okay yeah we set the irrigation system above ground so people can see how it's installed now normally in a landscape you'd probably want to bury your your drip lines with mulch or or even down into the ground but we want to demonstrate how the system's laid out so we put it above ground so people can see. Now I showed you those manifolds before, but you can also just plug an emitter directly into your lateral if you want and, use, and then water a plant using that. This is still a one gallon per hour emitter, except it's just running off directly off the lateral instead of the uh, manifold like we showed you before. And then these little micro tubes will go to your plant. Or you can do it you can plug in a, a, a adapter here, plug the tubing into the adapter, and then put the emitter on the end of the line next to your plant. You can do it either way. Now, at the plant itself, at the plant itself, you can buy these little holders that hold your a little spike that holds your uh, your uh, line in place next to next to your plant where you want the water to be going. Now here's a microtubing that you can use for, for larger specimens because you'd wanna, you want to try to water out towards the, the drip line of the tree if you have a tree or bush and you'd like to get water out even out to here. This one's a little bit small but we'll expand it later but this is a, a microtubing that has built in emitters and you can see the wet spots around here 
and that'll help to water that drip line around your trees. Um, we only have a, a two gallon per hour uh, emitter going to this tree and then it's um, but then we have the water going through the microtube to irrigate that drip line.